Songland. What's up, fellas? Woohoo! Oh, hi. there she is. Come on, Megan Trainer. Hello! Uh, Songland is unique in so many ways. I think the biggest thing, uh, and the biggest thing that, that we were excited about was just uh, that it's given new songwriters a platform. You know, there, there's uh, so many shows out there that are focused on the, the artists themselves and, and the singers and performers, but, uh, you know, they wouldn't be there without those great songs. So this show does that and gives them a spotlight and also helps them grow. Uh, we've, we've got three of the, the top producers and songwriters in the world um, helping them each week uh, to, to build a great song for a great artist. I started out writing songs when I was 11, and I got signed when I was like 17. So I started in the songwriting world. I always thought like, oh, I don't have the look to be in front of cameras and do all this. So it's really emotional for me to watch these young, upcoming songwriters pour their hearts out and perform their song that they worked so hard on. And it's it's hard to say no. It's gonna be a really it's it's really challenging. We were good till it wasn't always fun till it's not. Mm. We were just on the surface, so I had to move on. Yeah. I think seeing the songs in their first form when we get pitched them to when we hear them again, it just shows the talent of these you know, songwriters and producers because they're able to see a vision. They're able to listen to some of the, the notes that we had uh, when we were sitting there, but then actually implement that and then take it to an even bigger, crazier place than we saw in that moment. And I think it just shows how talented they really are and that they are such professionals and able to really find the gold inside of these songs. You could even go, just leave it open. Do you see Jonas Brothers is singing your song? Yeah, like, I almost like, don't really know what to think right now. <laughs> I grew up listening to doo-wop, so I was really excited. And, and everyone tells you, as a young songwriter, you just need that one song that'll break you through. And and they always say, write, what's, write what will stand out. Write what's not on the radio right now, so you'll stick out like a sore thumb, you know? And, I'm, and I wrote this song thinking, gosh, no one will play this, because it was all EDM at the time. And I was like, this isn't going to work. And because it was so different, that's why it stood out and why it had its own life. And I learned a very valuable lesson with that. So even I'll catch myself nowadays trying to write to radio and write what, what people like right now. But I, if I go back to my roots and think, OK, that song was so left field. Let's try to write one of those. I feel like I just watched all your dreams come true in your face. That my was great. My dreams are literally. literally coming true right now like woo! i've been doing this for so long and i've never been able to get in the right room so to be here and sing a song for people that i've looked up to for years man it is so so on time